Hi everyone, welcome to my Edexcel IGCSE Paper 2 Chemistry Predictions video. If you've seen my bio predictions video, you'll know that I start by saying, please don't stress unduly about how paper one has gone. You need to draw a line under that and you need to think positively about paper two. You have so much chance to improve your grade if you felt like it didn't go particularly well, to cement your grade if you're pretty much on target for your grade eight, grade nine, grade seven, whatever your dream grade is. You need to be working consistently and working hard throughout to make sure that you do the best that you possibly can. Now, paper two can deal with any topic on the specification, but I would concentrate most of your revision on the paper two content. Now, equilibria did not feature heavily at all in last year's paper, so I would spend some time making sure that you're happy with the effect of changing pressures and temperatures on the position of equilibria and how that will affect yield. Remember, if it's an exothermic forward reaction, you'll want to lower the temperature to increase the yield. If it's an endothermic reaction, you'll want to raise the temperature and think about the knock-on effect that has on the rate of reaction. Because remember, rates of reaction are all to do with collision theory. So even if lowering the temperature increases the yield, it won't increase the rate of reaction because particles have less kinetic energy. Now, this is a highly complex part of the specification, and I've got lots of free YouTube videos for you to watch on that. If you want more guided help, remember I'm running my paper two revision courses online next week. So come join me there if you want that extra help, and we'll be looking at lo lots of past paper questions. Electrolysis is another important paper two topic. Do remember for me that you need your electrolyte, your ionic structure, to be molten or in aqueous solution in order to allow the ions to move. Do learn your electrolysis rules. Remember, when we look at the positive ion, it's the least reactive element that's attracted to the negative electrode. It tends to be a jewelry metal or hydrogen gas. If you look at the negative ion, it's going to be a halogen, which gets attracted to the positive electrode preferentially. After that, it's oxygen, and you do need to learn those equations really carefully for when oxygen is attracted. Otherwise, it's quite straightforward. You need to just add or take away electrons in order to determine whether oxidation or reduction has occurred. Use the mnemonic oil rig to help you remember that oxidation is loss of electrons, reduction is gain. Do spend quite a large amount of your time revising further organic chemistry, and by that I mean the molecular structures and displayed structures of alcohols, carboxylic acids and esters, as well as the difference between addition polymers and condensation polymerization. Remember, condensation polymerization involves the loss of a small molecule, often water, and we often have dicarboxylic acids reacting with diols in order to produce polyesters. Again, check out my videos, check out my revision guide if you're not sure what I'm talking about. I am really picking the most difficult topics here in this predictions video because I want to make sure that you are aware that they exist and that you have revised them thoroughly. Titrations, that comes up in two places, either how you carry out a titration using a burette, a conical flask, a relevant indicator that has a sharp end point as opposed to something like universal indicator, which has a range of colours and is therefore unsuitable for titration. Coupled with that, you need to learn how to carry out titration calculations. That's often asking you to identify the concentration of either the acid or the alkali. Again, I've got lots of good videos that can show you my scaffold in order to help you with your titration calculations. But I just wanted to wish you the best of luck. You guys will be brilliant and come comment below to let me know how you've gotten on.